week's video it has been so highly requested by you guys especially those of you guys who follow me on my blog channel a few weeks ago I talked about how me and my friends are all going on a trip to Italy we're gonna be gone for 10 days and we're only spending $800 that includes flights hotels, trains, and car transfers because we have to drive like an hour and a half somewhere. So I mentioned that in a vlog and asked if you guys would wanna see some type of like travel life hacks video and you guys said yes, so here I am. I did do a travel life hacks video a few months ago where I shared 25 of my favorite travel hacks. I did repeat some of those hacks in this video just because I wanted to have every single travel hack about saving money in one video. So if you guys have seen that video, there's one or two things in this video that you'll see again. Hopefully this is helpful to you guys, especially with spring break coming up and summer break coming up. Also, don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed already. And if you guys wanna see more of me traveling and kind of behind the scenes of all that, subscribe to my blog channel. It is always linked down below and you guys can also follow me on Instagram. That is all for this intro, it is so long. I hope you guys are excited for this video. Let's go ahead and get into it. will change your life. I'm gonna let you guys in on my little secrets for all of my best resources. I literally have a notebook here. So the first place that I always go for cheap flights is Pomelo. It is actually the place where I get most of my cheap flights. So if you wanna sign up for Pomelo, all you have to do is go onto pomelotravel.com, type in your email, click the send me deals button, and you will get flight deals sent to your inbox. This is actually where I found my flights to Italy that I'm going on this spring break. So those were $522. Last spring break, I found cheap tickets from Las Vegas to London for $600. And then I booked a separate ticket going to Greece. That is another hack that I mentioned in my last video is if you're trying to go somewhere really specific like Santorini, Greece, instead of looking up Salt Lake to Santorini, look up Salt Lake to London and then London to Santorini. Another resource you guys can use is Flights From Home on Instagram. I mentioned this in my last video too, but they're super awesome. They have so many great deals, kind of similar to Pomelo, but it's just like an Instagram version instead of an email version. Another resource you guys need to use is Google Flights. So Google Flights is one of the best places to compare different flight prices. I will normally find a deal on Pomelo, go over to Google Flights, find the deal on there, search, see if there's something even cheaper the next day, or just figure out which days are the cheapest to travel on. Just leaving like one or two days later or earlier could save you hundreds of dollars. Another really good resource is Skyscanner, and I did mention this in my last video also, but like I said, I just wanted to put all of my best tips and best information in one video. You can usually find pretty cheap flights into those big hubs like the London Heathrow Airport. So if you guys go on Skyscanner, type in London as your departing destination, and then you type in everywhere. You guys are gonna get a giant list. This is showing me that there's flights to Italy from $19, flights to Ireland from $21, flights to Poland for $21. With resources like this, you guys can go to multiple countries for like under $100. Another thing to consider when booking flights or picking a destination is how expensive that destination actually is. Southeast Asia is so beautiful. There are so many amazing destinations over there and it's quite a bit cheaper to travel to than Europe. I literally just Googled cheap places to travel to and I found an article on Forbes that I'll show you guys here. It says the 33 cheapest places to travel to in 2018. Portugal, Zanzibar, the Cook Islands, Croatia. I will link this article down below if you guys want to check it out. And my last tip for you guys that revolves around airplane airplanes airplanes and flights and flying is to try and get bumped slash be open to getting bumped onto another flight this is actually something that happened to us last year we had booked a big trip to Europe with all of our friends the airline called us like the day before and asked if we would be open to switching to another flight it was only like two hours later we had six people total and they had four open first class seats on that next flight so four of us got bumped up to first class for free and then the other two people got $700 vouchers so they basically got $700 of free money and we got first class seats on an international flight. My next tip for you guys is to travel with friends. If you have a group of friends, this is going to drastically cut down the cost of your Airbnb or hotel or Ubers because you're splitting it with so many people. So gather up a group of friends, plan a trip and save some money. guys 
is to always travel with a carry-on bag only and do not check a bag. Carry-on bags are free majority of the time and if you only have a carry-on bag and you have it with you all the time, it's a lot easier to change up your travel plans if you do decide to get bumped off of a flight or something. Also, always wear your biggest outfit on the plane if you have like a big jacket or big boots or something or if you have a hat. I always wear my heaviest outfit on the plane to save room in my suitcase. is to grocery shop once you get to your destination so you aren't having to eat out for every single meal because that can add up really quickly and be super expensive so it's super easy to just run to the grocery store grab like some cereal or fruit for breakfast or some different snacks and you will definitely save some money by doing this five is to use Airbnb, especially if you have a big group of people. You can fit so many more people in an Airbnb than you can in a hotel and you're only paying for one space instead of like multiple hotel rooms. You can also set a budget that you're looking for. In Bali, there are tons and tons and tons of amazing villas. This one I'm showing you guys is only $149 per night and you could fit like five or six friends in here. So if you're only paying for one space and you have a lot of friends that you can split the cost with, you are definitely going to save some money. tip for you guys is to start a travel account on Instagram with all of your travel photos. For one, it's just fun to have like a documented place for all of your photos. But for two, if you start gaining followers, then you might be able to work with hotels eventually or different travel companies and they might offer you a free stay or a discounted stay. So you might as well start one because you never know what benefits might come from it. All right, you guys. So those are all of my best travel tips, life hacks, tricks, whatever you want to call it. Comment down below and let me know where is your dream vacation. Hopefully I made it a little bit easier for you guys to get there and achieve this dream by sharing these money saving tips. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you guys liked it. Let me know what you want to see next week in the comments down below and I will see you guys in that video. Bye guys. Bye.